What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, JLW, and welcome to Stand On Business. We're going to do something that I haven't done in a long time. Something that I hate doing because I hate listening to my own voice. We're going to have a one-on-one conversation, me and you. That's right, just us two, three, four, however many. We're going to discuss the Marlon Wayne's DJ. Is he a DJ? He's just Vlad. He's not a DJ. I feel like everybody's got DJ in front of their name. The Marlon Wayne's Vlad TV beef. More importantly, we're going to discuss why it backfired on Vlad so damn bad. And we've got to talk about the Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay interview with Marlon Wayne. So much to get to, and yet we're going to keep this as short as possible. All right, cut and print. Beautiful guys. Dynamite. DJ Vlad did an interview with Ari Spears, the comedian Ari Spears, who I find pretty funny every once in a while. And in that interview, I guess somehow, some way, it came up that Marlon Wayans had asked for $40,000 and 30% of future revenue if he were to appear on the Vlad TV show. I don't know why I said how it came up. I know how it came up because Vlad TV is one of the messiest channels that's ever existed, especially when it comes to black culture. You could be on an island, enjoying your life, sipping Mai Tais, let you be black, Vlad's gonna find a way to get your name to pop up in an interview. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting series because it's got some of the best interviews, some of the best moments, quotable moments, it's entertaining TV, but we can't sit here and deny that it ain't the snitchiest snitch ass show that's ever existed for the entertainment culture, especially black media or black culture not black media because they're owned by a black man obviously and that's part of the reason that i think this backfired on black tv too not to bring race into it but it's there so we got to snatch it so that comes out in the Aries spears interview right marlon waynes apparently finds out and he responds to a tweet that it said vlad would have had to pay me five hundred thousand dollars for an interview with 55% of all revenue made from the video on all platforms. Martin Wayne's commented and said, ha 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 ha. See, I tried to tell him I was giving him a deal. Wait for it. Oh, well. I want to stop here real quick and say two things. One, if this is the actual number asked for, I'm not going to lie, this is a crazy deal. Now, I don't know the metrics of YouTube, how it breaks down with what numbers give you what dollar amount back, but $40,000 and 30% of future revenue seems like, one, you're expecting this video to go bonkers, but damn, that's a lot of money for an interview. Now, the second thing I want to bring up is, and you notice this a lot in the Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay interview with Marlon Wayans. Marlon seems to be such, to be in such a place of just non-bothersome don't want beef with anybody not on, on some scared energy but on some like my life is more concerned with giving and experiencing love than it is dealing in the negativity and hatred that so many of y'all operate in i'm not in a space to even see haters that's the vibe marlin gives off to me so it surprised me when this even popped up that marlin would even find the time or find the energy to entertain this when Vlad releases this. Now, I don't know if somebody on his team told him like, hey, you gotta address this because it makes you look crazy because the amount seems so ridiculous. Or if there was some ego hurt here by Vlad mentioning his price and basically saying that he's not worth that. But something must have been triggered for Marlon to even step out of his space of love to come back and agree to this commenter who's at saying 500,000 55% because that that's ridiculous too we all know that's ridiculous that's a ridiculous ask <sighs> so then it turned into a whole tit for tat thing right you had DJ Vlad responding and basically saying Marlon Wayne's found someone with 200 followers to agree with him lol nobody on earth is going to pay Marlon $40,000 for an interview when he gets 100,000 to 300,000 views on any platform he interviews on this guy is really delusional Everything you said could be factual. The moment you start mudslinging, being disrespectful, damn all that. 
This is the problem when you report on the culture, but don't live in the culture. This is the problem when you enjoy it and like being a visitor to it, but don't actually put real estate into it. And you can't put real estate into it unless you've gotten it passed down from those who've lived there before, right? You understand what I'm saying? You either understand what I'm saying or you don't understand what I'm saying. So the, the issue becomes when you, <laughs> when you're written a space in a particular community, but you think you own the space, right? Well, you feel like anybody who walks outside your property or that you see in the neighborhood, you can say anything too. But the problem is the people in that community see you and they may tolerate you living in that community, but they see you. So the moment you do something that they don't respect or like or feel like it's it's targeted, well, they're going to mob up on you. They're going to mob up on you and they're going to burn your place down. You can get some doo-doo diapers on your porch. That line, this guy is really delusional. That was you coming out on the porch and saying, hey, stop playing that music too loud. We don't do that around here. Wait a minute. You don't make the rules here. Wait a minute. Who's he talking to? Even worse, it's like you talk, you, you said it to a member of the community that everybody loves. You said it to a member of the community that's put, put real investment into the building up of that community. You've said it to a member of the community where the individuals with power in that community will raise and let the individual and the contributions that he's made to that community. You can't say anything disrespectful, especially when you don't own the property that you're staying in, even if you think you do. This guy is really delusional. All of the, everything you said before might be facts. You might have even provided evidence to back it up, but you notice that the response to it, the response to it don't give a damn about the factual evidence you said because you crossed over the line and you told somebody that's a hero in that community that he ain't nothing, that he's crazy, lost his mind. <sighs> Marlon Wayans then responds. And again, I'm, I'm really surprised to see that he, he's entertaining this this long. Like I said, it must it must have cut him at the right time, the right day. He was in the right headspace or something. But you mad? You unprofessional, my guy. If you don't like the number, keep it moving. You look bad. You should fall back, mad at a black man stating his number, and now you go public and use your platform to try to drag me. I never in my life dealt with this silly negotiating tactic. Okay, there's a lot of things going on there. The black man stating his number. I mean, that's that's to me, it's a rallying cry, right? Like that you, you put race into it and suddenly tensions flare up on both sides and we all looking to see, is this a fight we getting behind, what we rallying for? Actually, it's not even a fight that we go, is this a fight we... we rallying behind because again it's a hero that's saying it so automatically numbers is up automatically we <laughs> yo you think back to when marlon waynes makes the joke about who do you and his whole people showed up but his people is more than just his family and the people with his last name it's the whole community i don't know if he brought race into it because he knows that automatically he's gonna have everybody stand up and back him up no matter what he says but he says it so if I was Vlad, I'd be thinking I need to back up, bro. I need to close my doors, lock my windows and stay inside for a little bit. But no, 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 no. Vlad thinks this is something he can win because he thinks he owns a house. Marlon Wayans. I'm sorry that you don't find me attractive. Fortunately, hold on, we loaded up, we loaded up. It's OK, I clicked on a link. Fortunately, for both of us, I'm heterosexual. Okay, I, I can see your angle of what you're doing here. Between your recent gay photo shoot and your claim to fame dressing up as a woman, this would be the perfect time to fully come out of the closet. Coming out as gay in 2024 will surely revive your declining acting career. And since I turned down your $40,000 offer for an interview, I'm pretty sure you can get that amount for your first gay porn scene. Porn scene. Marlon Gaines, Gaines, I'm assuming, Marlon Gaines, okay, no, I got it, I'm sorry, Gaines would be an awesome poor name, by the way. Now, I know what you're thinking in your head when you post that, ooh, killed him, got 2.1 million views, that's a lot of views. Maybe, possibly, if you're another legend of the community and you were to shoot this back, maybe I could see it working. I could see the facts that you're pulling from trying to string together a a joke that not only punches and makes people laugh, but is also based in some sort of semi-truth. A good joke pulls from the surrounding environment. It pulls factual data and turns it back on its person. I see that. But what did I say? 
You're not paying attention to what I said. You don't own a house in the space of where you're denigrating the hero. So it's hard for you, you, bro, forget punching up. You are literally looking at Everest and you are on the bottom. I mean the absolute bottom of that mountain trying to throw a rock up at a goat. It's not gonna work. I don't care how many shamans, how many goats, how many helicopters you bring with you, you're not reaching that peak. You're just starting at too far a disadvantage. Also, it, the gay joke, I mean, you said it, man. It's 2024. Gay is just not going to get it done. You just can't throw gay on somebody and expect people to be like, ah, you got him. First of all, we're talking about what arguably what a billion dollar movie now because we're talking about white chicks right the fact that he dressed up as a woman was what he's referencing white chicks gross i it's hard to make fun of a movie that ended up grossing 113 million dollars worldwide 70 million dollars in the united states 42 million in other countries i mean just it was made with what 30 37 million dollars but it grossed 113 million dollars you can't be like yo when you made that that movie, that high grossing movie, that multi-million dollar movie, you should have came and followed it up with you being gay because you know you was in a dress and you had on white. Yeah, ain't nobody trying to hear that. Again, it's surprising to me that Marlon's even entertaining this, that he's even letting this go. You could have just let him have that right there. He would look cuckoo by himself. But he's engaged now. And also, I can understand that there is even as much love and positivity of his space that he might be in. He's still a black man. He's still a black man from the projects. He... You're not just going to roast them. I'm sorry, black man from the project from a legacy family that is built in roasting. You're not just going to let this man talk crazy about you. Hey, DJ Vlad, how you go from this to this? Turkey. Now, that's an old ass, old ass saying, right? That's what the old heads say, right? Jive turkey. Now, you may be saying it differently, but that's what I hear in my head. Turkey. Because I can't think about whatever. How else would you say this, right? This is crazy. But he don't finish there. He says, this is DJ Vlad after his next hair transplant surgery. <laughs> the joke is effortless. I don't need to do a whole bunch of digging and researching and connect the dots. And oh, let me put a trigger word now. And yo, this is it. One sentence killed him. But I'm not done. Hey, DJ Vlad, you're way too hated by the urban community to fuck with me. I'm love. You ain't. Watch the video. Where's your face? Man, you couldn't exploit me. How about the government paying you, Brody? Hope it's at least 40K. He's going in on him at this point now. Now, he didn't turn on the machine, and it's hard to turn it on once you didn't start. I mean, turn it off once you didn't start it. Again, though, a lot of rallying cries in this tweet. A lot of hey. My brothers and sisters at arms, not just the ones with my last name. Stand up. Look what we're doing. This something. This is something that I found interesting, too, because he's playing off of the fact that a lot of individuals in the community who see this house don't like it being there. Now, we can all admit it's a big house. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people visit that. Month. A lot of people go through there. A lot of important people. A lot of people with some pool, some power, some influence, some sway, or at least some entertaining stories. Them been in the rooms with the people that we really, really respect. Still, the house is hated. Why? Because that house shuts down other houses. Are you still following me? You still understand what I'm saying with this reference? We still there? If not, go back, start from the beginning. Listen to me. Are you back? Okay. A lot of shutting down of other houses. So a lot of people don't like what he's doing. A lot of people don't want this individual in the community. A lot of people are saying, don't go over there. Don't support this. It's nasty. It's another person that doesn't really live or know what this community is about profiting off of the struggles of this community. And we just letting him have it. So Marlon, he's digging that up. He's put it out there. Hey, y'all rally cry. If y'all ever want to say something, this is the moment to say it. Look what he's doing to somebody, a hero in the community. Still, Marlon goes on. This is why we don't fuck with you. You a lame. I ain't the first, but thus may be your last. We pulling that beard back today, fella. Exposed. Marlon, Marlon at this point let his nuts hang. Marlon at this point is showing the thing that he doesn't often show. He's showing just how great he is. And also, he's hitting that. I don't even know if he's hitting that. He might just be slapping you in the face with it. No, Hulk Hogan. Don't get it twisted. Don't let the smiles and jokes and your goofy faces fool you. I am him. And if I want to, I can sick them dogs on you. 
Marlon goes on. Now I'm done. Most of my followers are saying, who the fuck is Vlad? This is crazy. I, we just never seen this side. It looks like that's where it ended. Or at least that's where we thought it had ended. Woo! Marlon wasn't done. Like I said, he was letting it hang on this one. He was letting it hang on this one. Now, I don't think he went in. I don't think he went in with this intention of absolutely decimating, destroying, knocking down, tearing down, burning down, sicking the dogs on them, bro, type of energy. That's not what I got from this interview. I'm talking about the Club Shay Shay interview. That's not what I think his intentions were. I think he wanted to go on the Club Shay Shay platform and talk on one of the biggest platforms that's out there right now. But once he's seen, like we all seen what it did. Oh, bro, I got to double back to the person who said I only get 100,000 to 300,000 views. No, 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 no. I'm not done with you. Bring your back on over here. Come on, won't you see this? No, 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 no. Turn away. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? I'll tell you what we're talking about. I'm going to pull it up for you. You ain't poke a bear. Vlad, you poked a dragon. A peaceful snoring Barton dragon and he breathed some fire on your ass Marlon Wayans then went on IG and posted this 1.4 million views someone once laughed at a Marlon Wayans Marlon Wayans because somebody put dirt on his name said he's not relevant to the culture no more said he's on the decline of his amazing legendary career that Marlon Wayans, 1.4 million views in 24 hours. I don't know who else is doing that. Vlad, you got some great, great interviews. Great interviews. Do some crazy numbers. You ain't doing that too often, my dog. 1.4 in 24 hours. You ain't doing that too often. And you said this brother's getting what? 100 to 300 that That I can only pull 300,000 views. I guess the juice is worth the squeeze. Wild Child Tour. Get ticks. That's the comedy tour. Um... I mean, that to me would be, that would be good enough for me to lock my door again, close my blinds, go into a dark corner and hope people forget about me for a little bit. Let, let, let it clear outside. Forget that I, I'm on this block. Forget that I moved in here. Forget that I ever stepped outside and told y'all to look, 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 look at the clown walking down the street. Oh shit. That one a clown. Damn it. He was just put on a show. Damn it. Damn it. It's not enough, though, to add insult to injury, though, to add insult to injury. Hey, y'all, look, it's on my it's on my homepage right here. Hold on. What, what does it say? Dog, what does it say? Hold on. Hold on. What does it say? What does this read that for you? What does that say? What does that say? What? Better yet, what is he supposed to say back to that? Vlad, you can't say sh you can't say shit. 3.4 million views. You said he could only pull 100 to 300,000 at most. All he asked for was $40,000 and 30%. Now, I'm not going to lie. I looked at some of the YouTube clips that had Marlon Wayne's interviews. He was pulling around 90 to 100 to maybe 300,000 at max. But damn it, you don't say that to a goat. You say, thank you. I can't afford your price at this time and you keep it pushing. But because you don't live here, you didn't know who you was talking to. Now, you're not pulling 3.4 million views on the decline of your career. Now, the question is, is this because Club Shay Shay? Or is it because of Marlon Wayans? Or is it because of the hype of the drama of the beef? Well, we can start with the beef. I think the beef had already died down before this had already came out. Nobody was really checking for what what's Marlon is going to be his next move response to the DJ Vlad. It's not a rap beef. Nobody's dropping songs. This isn't a Kendrick versus Drake thing. This is two individuals who had a little spat moved on. I'm using spat now. Had a little tiff and moved on. At least I thought I wasn't seeing this on my timeline. Wasn't people whispering in the hallways talking about like, ooh, what's the next move? What's the next play? What DJ Vlad going to drop? What's Marlon Wayne's going to say in his comedy tour? This was done. Nobody was checking for what's next up on the beef between DJ Vlad and Marlon Wayne's. I think a lot of y'all like me were like, yo, this is crazy. It's even happening right now. This is crazy that one of the legends is even having to respond to a dude like this. Ah, oh, well, we moved on. 
the promotion for this video, you know how, you know, Shannon Sharp and his team like to drop little clips, the highlights of the interview to get you excited for what's going to be said. The highlights said nothing about DJ Vlad. His name wasn't mentioned once. They didn't even reference the previous spat between Marlon Wayans and DJ Vlad. They talked about the halftime show. Maybe seeing Eddie Murphy as a kid, the legacy that is the Waynes, but no mention of the beef because it wasn't really a beef between Marlon Waynes and DJ Vlad. I watched the whole interview, y'all, the whole thing. Marlon Waynes, first of all, on my list, top five individuals I want to meet, talk to business wise. This is the hard, one of the hardest working men in show business. Let me give you my list of the top five hardest working, the ones that I can remember right now. The top five hardest working people in showbiz to me, to me. Kevin Hart, The Rock, Tom Cruise, Marlon Wayans. I don't know who's on my fifth. I don't know, but those four right there. For me, hardest working individuals in the room. And Marlon Wayans is on a whole nother. You know, I probably put Adam Sandler on that list too. I don't know. I don't know. His, his might be. Strong argument though. Real strong argument. Marlon Wayans though. He doesn't have the the current zeitgeist, successful, crazy amount, amounts of money poured into him like those other four names that I mentioned, right? He's not pulling in the Tom Cruise figures, the Kevin Hart figures, the Rock figures, the Adam Sandler figures, the crazy bag Netflix just gave Adam Sandler. But that's why he's even more impressive, because to me, he is still on. Uh, he's already already cemented himself as a legend, as a goat in this game. But he's still hungry for more. So he's still finding ways to reinvent himself, to reposition what it is to be an actor, comedic actor, dramatic actor, one of the most underrated dramatic actors out there, stand up comedian, getting investments for little projects like Haunted House that turn around and end up doing $70 million off a of budget. What did he say? He said it was like made for a million dollars. You only get that type of hunger that type of craving for not want to rest on what it is you did before but focus on what's coming next by being one of the hardest working individuals in the room so he's got to be on my list of top five and maybe number one because he doesn't have it easy I'm not saying those other five have it easy i'm sure it's still hella hard to compete and stay at the top as a lion 24 7 but what i am saying is when you don't have somebody here to lift you up to boost you with them extra dollars and you're still doing it? Oh man, that's a different type of hunger. He talks about this family. He talks about talks about the the upbringing of being the youngest Wayne. And as you're coming up, trying to figure out who you are as a man, and you're going to HBCUs, you're going to college, you're figuring out what it is to just be a young black man in America. Your family's on TV. They doing big movies. And you, hey, no, I'm good. I don't want to do that right now. I need to figure out who I am before I step onto a big screen and introduce the world as another Waynes. That's what this interview is really about. This is him. It's not even about Marlon Waynes. It's about him showing love to everybody who came before, everybody who opened the door for him, everybody that he respects and loves and admires. That's is two hours of him just giving roses to everybody else. No mention of the beef until the numbers come out. So that tells me that the drama, the drama didn't spur the numbers. Okay. We can, we can check that. We can check that. We can find out if it's you. And I don't know what the real answer is. Y'all we just going to look at the facts. Full episodes, Club Shay Shay. What pulls up? You tell me, here we go. Full episodes here. 3.4. That's what we got with Marlon Wayans. 3.4. That's what we got with Tyrese Gibson. 2.2. We got with John Cena. That's a pretty big name. Pretty relevant right now. Oscar De La Hoya, 1.5. That's not what Marlon Wayans did. LO Cool J, legend, 1.7. It's not what Marlon Wayans did. Devontae Adams, huge name in football, 1.5. Not what Marlon Wayans did. Megan Good, Megan Good, lovely Megan Good. Megan Wood Good staying in the news right now because of a, of, a, of a man and a career, but the man stuff, we had a video on it. Y'all know how I feel. 2.8. Still not what Martin Wayne's did. We can keep going. Megan the Stallion. Bro, Megan the Stallion? Megan the... St 
2.7. Dana White, 2.2. Ray J, 3.1. Laval Crawford, Lavelle Crawford, 4.8. That's the next one that pulls in the type of number or more than what Marlon Wayans did. Now, this is actually kind of crazy to me. I'd like to know what he said to get 4.8 million views. I, I love I love Lavelle, Lavelle. But 4.8, damn. Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay, pulls in the millions, but not on a consistent basis like Marlon Wayans did, which leaves one last outcome. If it's not the drama that brought the numbers and it's not Shannon Sharp on a regular bringing 3.4 million views, then, oh, well, hell, it's got to be Marlon Wayans. So could it be that Vlad's platform just wouldn't have pulled in 3.4 million, view, 3 million views or more than 300,000 views for Marlon Wayans? And then you got to ask yourself, well, why is that? Well, if we're going to take a look at this house that's rented, not owned in this community. Why are people so invested in that house? Why do people like to walk by and point it and go like, "Ooh, look at that. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's you know whose house that is. Some could say because when I tune into a Vlad TV interview, I know I'm going to get some messy drama. I'm going to get something that I wouldn't ever be able to find out anywhere else. Not in my regular life, not online. Vlad has a way of getting people hood people, people from the community to say things that really shouldn't be said. Things that get people in trouble. Things that have consequences in the real world. I could see why people would be interested in that house. Again, you can't hate the player, man. The, the, the numbers don't lie. Let me give you this example. In the Club Shay Shay interview, several times, Shannon seems to want a trap not trap because i don't think he's coming from a bad intention place but he's got to do his job seems to be trying to get a juicy scoop seems to be trying to stir the pot a little bit between marlon and somebody else i'll give you the examples he brings up monique and says what's what's going on with monique why did monique say that y'all stole a joke from her marlon waynes in the light that he's in right now in the place that he's in right now and just maybe because of who he is as a person says uh i love monique I, yeah, I heard what she said. I know she said we stole jokes. Let me start with this. I love Monique. Let me end with this. I love Monique. No, I didn't steal your joke. I didn't do that. I'm sorry that you felt that we did. It's an old joke. We weren't even in the mind space to do that. I want you to go get your money, sis. I love you. That's it. You're not trapping me. I'm not saying nothing negative. You're not going to turn me against Monique. Marlon, what's going on with these Diddy parties? Everybody want to know. Everybody want to know. Everybody asking me. I want to I know, Marlon, what's going on with these Diddy parties? Marlon. <laughs> hey, I was at them Diddy parties. They must have did this shit after I left. I ain't never seen it. I stayed till 2, 3. So at 3.32, they must have started because I ain't never seen it. I'm not throwing nobody under the bus. You're not trapping me. You're not trapping me into starting some beef with somebody, saying something that I shouldn't be saying. Marlon doesn't seem to be that type of dude that you're going to get on the interview to say something messy. What is the house, this house that's rented, not owned, built upon? What does the guest that you bring into that house contribute to that? Let me end on this, y'all, because we've gone long enough. One, if you haven't watched the Marlon Wayne's interview with Club Shay Shay, you should watch it. But 3.4 million views is a good chance that you've already watched it. I don't personally fault Vlad for saying I'm not paying $40,000 and giving you 30% of future interest in this product because the numbers, like I said, they don't suggest that you're going to get a good return on investment with that type, especially with what you're built upon, what your house, your foundation is. However, the problem is when you are a visitor and so many people forget this, when you are a visitor to a culture, to a room, to a space that you weren't born, bred, given the gift to just naturally be a part of. You got to move carefully. Not saying that every, every, every room should be allowed for anybody to step in and maneuver and make their way and find success and find joy. Nobody should exclude anybody that ain't right. That's not the world we should be wanting to live in. 
you got to be move careful in that world because you might say that something that a natural person from that community might know I, I shouldn't do that. I know I shouldn't say that. I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't act upon this thought because I know what this comes with. I know the consequences of this. I know what it is that I'm actually saying. You a visitor, you don't know that. You just, you think we all joking and hee hee and ha ha and everybody can get it and everybody's fair game. No, 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 no. No the rules. Zayda's been in the culture for a long time. He knows the rules, but I think he forgot. I think he forgot that, yes, you might be big, but you're not Marlon Wayne's Wayne's family big, dog. You can't come at a goat. You can't come at a goat throwing pebbles thinking that you're going to tear down the house. Especially when that house is not just got Wayne's on the front. Brother, you got offshoots of that house. You got the Jamie Foxes of the world. You got the Tommy Davidsons of the world. You got the Jim Carrey's of the world. You got the J Lo's of the world. I'm just starting. Barney Max of the world. You know what I'm saying? That's not a house you want to. You you can't. I'm not even gonna say you want to. You cannot burn down that house. It's impossible. The only people that could burn down that house is the people who built that house. That boy Marlon turned a one million dollar movie into sixty nine million dollar profit. Don't sleep on these legends and goats, bro. Just because you think they old and they wash up and they t- don't don't sleep on them. But I ain't got to tell you that y'all already part of the community. Y'all already know. Why am I? Why am I even repeating that? That's it. I'll see y'all in the next video. Appreciate y'all watching Stand on Business. I was your host, JLW. And until next week, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. Bye. Can I tell you a secret? Sure, man.